Hi, we're, we're here in the O2 arena to test the difference between 4G and 3G, to, uh, to give some real world tests and to try the network out. So, what do you think? 4G is going to rock? 4G will rock, <laughs> believe me. Um, we, we've put in a you know, central London network here, um, covering all the way from Hyde Park to the O2 arena. Um, and what we're going to show today is hopefully the difference between 3G and, uh, and 4G. Yeah, looking forward to it. So we're expecting really fast ping times, low latency, high download speeds and high upload speeds. And I think it's going to be basically like your home broadband or better, but mobile. We're going to be using speedtest.net and we're going to be testing for pings, we're going to be testing for download speeds and upload speeds. So, shall we have a go? Let's do it. Okay, I'll count you down. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. What will it there be? We hey, wow, look at that That's ping. Fantastic. I mean, it's yeah. sub 25 is amazing. So 4G's going, 3G's getting up to speed. <laughs> That's, 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 that's a hell of a difference. <laughs> I'd say that's about 60 times faster, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, at least. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, 3G, you know, it's, it's just like you would get at home and on your handset, but, I mean, the 4G is my... I mean, it's, it's, it's almost incomparable, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it's so much faster. I can't fathom it. I mean, that's faster than I get it on my broadband. Mm. Yeah, yeah. By a factor of yeah. five or six. And it's just from that little stick. How amazing is that? Streaming video uh, over 3G, I, I mean, it works, mm. you know, especially on, on a portable device. Um, but try and stream something like 4K video, you're never going to get anywhere with 3G. Yeah. And it'd be impressive to see whether 4G can really, has the chops to get, the, get it going and, and actually watchable. So, should we have a go? Yeah, yeah, that's not Let's bad. do it. Refresh. Uh, just flick it up to original. So there we go. I mean, uh, we're off, and um, we're playing straight away on the uh, yeah. 4G connection, aren't we? Yeah. And you, you can immediately yeah. see that the, um, the progress bar is streaking ahead. Yeah. Um, whereas the, the 3G, well, <laughs> it hasn't even moved. Yeah. Not a millimeter. <laughs> to yeah. be fair, I mean, this is rather a torture test. Yeah. But it, 4G handles it. Yeah. I mean, I, I've seen um, fixed line broadband uh, choke on uh, 4K video. Just to see something, something mobile, 4G, playing it straight off the bat, that's impressive. You know, one, one of the um, supposed benefits of high speed um, broadband uh, is fast downloads. So I thought we'd give it a test. Yeah. Um, so let's, uh, let's go and see if we can um, download some Ubuntu for our Linux loving pals. And how big is this file then, typically? Uh, around about 600 meg or so. Okay. So it's a, it's a sizable chunk. So it's more than your monthly allowance on, a, on an average smartphone, yeah, I guess. Sure. Yeah. yeah, by miles, <laughs> yeah. But it's clearly miles faster than that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't dream of downloading something like this over a mobile broadband, would you? Wait till right. you get home. But with 4G, yeah. Yeah. why wait? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so a bit of a, a real world test here. Um, I'm going to have a, a flick through five of one of the heavier UK websites and see how the difference between the 3G performance and the 4G performance on getting you through the websites loaded and ready to read. Yeah. So, are you ready? Well, Gizmodo UK's website is heavy. It's lean. Oh, it's very right. light. It's a beautiful website. And And you see what I mean about the click to bang yeah. effect? It's, it's instantaneous. Isn't it, it is. It, it really is. hammers at home, doesn't it? Yeah. Pack your bag, Sam. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> 3G's going home. Yeah.